So yeah, I'm Connor Svensson. This is uh, Avila Kirillov. Um, we, I'm, I'm the founder of a company called BLK.io, and we also um, maintain and um, created uh, Web3J, the Java library, for um, integrating with Ethereum clients. So Web3J was initially launched uh, just before DevCon 2. So it's been around for a couple of years now. It provides, it started off as just being that uh, into an implementation of the JSON RPC API, but then when we started, um, you know, thinking in terms of smart contracts and um, you know digging below the surface of it, um, we added in things like the um, you know the, the transaction signing capabilities and then um, bindings, uh, creation of bindings in Java, so that you can basically once you've got your smart contract written, you can do everything else um, within the actual JVM. Uh, it works as well nicely with Truffle too, so um, it, it uses contract ABI metadata files, um, whether they come out of Solidity or Truffle, it can use that to generate the smart contract bindings. It's a reactive functional API, which basically means it's easy to compose um, streams as per Rx Java to um, operate on events that are taking place on the blockchain as they happen, and it uh, provides uh, full ENS uh, support as well, which was added last year. I'll uh, now pass over to Avila, who's going to say a couple of things. Cool. Yeah, so the Web3J ecosystem, it's, it's got uh, many components with it. The core Web3J is written in Java, so it's um, compatible with uh, Kotlin, Scala, and Android as well. Uh, we've got build tools, Maven, and Gradle, so you can generate your smart contract wrappers uh, within, your whole, within your build pipeline. Um, we support the Quorum client, um, Parity, and Geth clients as well and the recently announced Pantheon client from Consensus. Um, and we've got some framework integrations with Spring to easily create RESTful APIs and Apache Camel for, for your enterprise applications. And yeah, we released Web3J 4.0, really excited about it. Some of the main uh, things that we've updated is now we're using Rx Java 2, uh, the flowable API. Um, we have HD wallet support, BIP32 BIP and BIP44 standards were, were implemented. Um, and another main thing is uh, we've got snapshot releases that are now available so that you can stay more current with what we're doing. I'll hand over back to Connor to wrap up. Yeah, we're going to keep this brief. It's a lightning talk. And um, yeah, just to, to give you a few metrics as well about the library. So we've had 75 different contributors now who've actually contributed to it. Uh, it gets over 20,000 downloads a month as well. So, you know, all in, if you count all the different components, it's over 100,000 downloads, but the actual core library itself. So there's a very significant user base globally for it. And the project's got over 2,000 uh, GitHub stars. A few months ago as well, um, we received um, funding from the Ethereum Community Fund, which we're very grateful for because this has enabled us to actually have someone working on the library full time. Uh, we really want to continue supporting the, the JVM ecosystem for working with Ethereum and just improve on it. So, you know, our, our plan is very much so to you know, grow the actual team and the, the amount of work that we're doing here. Um, we're also to the, 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 the Gitcoin um, well, Gitcoin have been great too in terms of offering us bounties too, and will continue to for smaller issues as well, so that um, you know we, we can um, well just get more people involved and also continue just to maintain and just um, you know make make it even easier for a wider number of people to work with the library. That was all we wanted to say. Um, come if you want to have a chat, come say hi. We've got stickers and you know all the usual swag things as well. If um, yeah, you want any of those, thank you. <laughs>